So welcome to the actual first video of the course. This week is all about trying to understand financial markets, right? Um, if we want to become a participant in financial markets, so like an investor or a trader, we kind of need to have an idea of the arena that we're stepping into. And so we need to start, as I said in the previous video as well, with a broad overview. And generally we do this by looking at the history, for example, how financial markets came to be. Now, as mentioned, we do this via external sources. So reading, viewing uh, and some listening. And those sources are going to be crucial to understand a thing or two about you know, the markets that we're going to be operating in. Um, let's just go to the slides and I will, you know, um, explain a little bit more about the structure as I've promised. And we will just slowly take it step by step for this first week. Uh, or at least the first video of this week. This week has three chapters, so three videos like these. Um, and yeah, so financial markets uh, highlighted in green. This video, um, I, I will maybe leave this structure slide out in the next video. This is just because this is the first time. Week one, financial markets, three chapters. Every week has three chapters, so we maintain that structure. Chapter one, history, present and future. Chapter two, types of financial markets and chapter three, financial market participants. So, and then we move on to the next week and next week is going to be about investing, the basics, etc. You can see that in gray uh, below. More structure, so the videos and the sources per chapter. We have one video, that's the one you're watching right now. Um, four to five mandatory sources per chapter. Um, so we're going to just look at the sources in the video. I'm not going to you know, go too deep into it, but I just want to talk you through it a little bit. And every chapter includes a, a non-mandatory advanced source. So it's not mandatory, but right here we already have an exception. So for this very first chapter, I want you to really watch the advanced source because it's about the workings of money. And if you understand how money works, how money works, how it is created and how we are, for example, right now experiencing uh, quite high inflation, you can come to the conclusion that we need to put our capital to work, at least currently with this outlook. If you have high inflation, it just means that you're, you know, you're, buy, you're able to buy less and less product for the same dollar or euro, whatever your currency of choice. And we kind of need to outpace inflation in order to maintain uh, at least a neutral balance or in, in just simply in order to not, you know, see our, the value of our currency deter deteriorate. Now for our, um, I, I will come back to this probably at the end of the video, but for, for, uh, for yeah, like Europeans uh, or in the Western world, maybe this is not such an obvious scenario where the money really devalues. But if you just look at what happened uh, with the Turkish Lira, or what happens in Argentina or Venezuela, even worse, or uh, you know other countries in the past, the devaluation of your currency, once that gets accelerated, is something that we really need to be aware of. And it's just not a position that we want to be in, right? Um, so that, that final video, the advanced one, really watch that because that goes into that a little bit um, to, to, you know, to give you a perspective on like, Hey, wait a minute, you know, I do need to just pay a little bit of attention to my finances. Right. Uh, and you know, don't worry. That's what we're here for as well to guide you, uh, guide you through that. So sources consist of either reading, viewing or listening, but that's highlighted on the coils platform as well. Um, and yeah, so five mandatory, four to five mandatory ones. And then, you know, uh, sometimes it's in total five, sometimes it's in total six. Uh, sources all of them interesting but sometimes the advanced one just goes into something really deep or is like a quite a lengthy video and we've always had students in the past who just wanted to go the extra mile and found the general content maybe you know not challenging enough so for you guys uh, that is always there to uh, to dive even deeper into the uh, into the content sources disclaimer um, this is important I do want to highlight this because uh, I do not want you guys to have the view that we are trying to get you to think in a certain way. I or, uh, or Hans or any of the uh, members of the team may express a certain enthusiasm about a certain asset or, or about a market or a technology. Like, for example, I'm quite excited about blockchain technology still after all these years. That doesn't mean that, you know, I'm going to talk you into my, uh, my beliefs or my view, etc. We really... Uh, try to avoid that. We try to stay as neutral as possible. And we also want to do that uh, with the, the sources. What do I mean with that? Well, let's, let's just 
come back to the first one again, not financial advice. Nothing we say is ever advice. So don't just follow blindly what we do. Again, we're trying to, you know, teach you or not teach you, like help you how to think or help you think like an investor and trader. Um, it is not necessarily uh, the advice to follow a certain person in a source. So it may be a tweet of some something. If we share a tweet, it doesn't mean that we think the author of the tweet is super awesome and we support everything that he or she, she says, right? It may very well be that a person has a very good take or like a good view on something, but you know, they're at the same time trying to promote or, you know, sell you a course that, you know, we just simply do not, uh, simply do not support. And here you get what I mean with that. You really need to start to learn to think for yourself, right? Like some stuff, you just take what you can from the sources, from uh, our lectures, from me speaking and see what makes sense for you, right? So I'm, you may be like completely contrarian to one of my ideas and think like, well, you know, Ri, uh, nice that you have that view, but I think something completely different, right? That, that's, that, that, that would be great if you disagree with me actually. And that, you know, you come to that point by thinking for yourself. Uh, so we will not try to brainwash you into a certain way of thinking or uh, or belief. Really, we, we want to stay as neutral as possible. We present the sources to you. It's like, hey, we found this interesting. It gave us maybe a certain perspective or it gives a certain view. Uh, and that's it, right? From there on out, you can decide what you want to do with that source, how you rate it, uh, if you think it was useful. And you can, you're always more than welcome to provide us with feedback on the sources. So form your own perspective. Uh, after viewing, reading, or listening to the sources. And I, I do have to say some of the sources, there are people that are, you know, like uh, remarkable in skill set, but use of language sometimes, you know, could be improved or, you know, it, it's, you know, most often there's just not a desire to improve that. Or, uh, you know, the F and the S word sometimes are there in the sources. We apologize for that, but it doesn't take away the fact that sometimes it's a very good source, right? Just because somebody swears doesn't mean they're not uh, intelligent, <laughs> if you will. Um, so, you know, yeah, we, so, some sources we've had that we wanted to take them out, but then it's like, no, but you know, the content, what is actually shared there, you know, is quite crucial. So pardon our sources is French. So, uh, the history present and future that brings us to the actual sources. And I'm going to TDFA DJ, TDJFA my way to, uh, to the sources. I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, first up, so Investopedia, I, I'm not, don't worry. I'm, we're not going to, you know, read all these lines together. I will not do that to you. Um, but I just want to highlight the fact that this is one of the basic, most basic sources. What are financial markets? Just read through it. Try to get a, an understanding of what a financial market is, how, what the terminology is around them. Uh, in the sub chapters here, you can see, you know, how it works, etc. It's really quite extensive. And just take your time slowly to try to understand it. If you don't understand it, or if something is unclear, bring your question to the Discord or bring it to the lecture and we can talk about all this stuff more in depth. And the lectures will obviously be connected to the sources and we will take us take a topic and dive into it deeper. I want to highlight that investopedia.com is a website that probably has everything you could ever need as an investor when it comes to like, hey, what is this? How does this product work? How, what is an exchange? What is a broker? What is a stock? You know, anything that you can, uh, that, you, that you want to ask when it comes to investing or trading or, or financial markets, you can find it probably on Investopedia. So we do recommend this source. Uh, we use it all the time uh, and often it's very well explained and anything that you, yeah, that you can just wish to know, you can probably find there. So read through what financial markets are. Um, and yeah, just try to learn as much as possible. So again, the history, present and future, we've selected a couple of videos of how were financial markets created, uh, going back in time a little bit. Um, the stock market explains that this is quite entertaining. Again, like sometimes, for example, with this source, uh, some of the stuff is like really hyped. It's not something that like with the presentation, I would necessarily agree on, but there are just key aspects in a video like this where that bring you to a certain level of knowledge to, you know, that help you understand what we're trying to, uh, what we're talking about here. Now, this is a very cool video. Uh, what was the biggest company in history? Still bigger than today's company in, in today's terms, if you, uh, you know, take that uh, th into account. Uh, and that's the, 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 the VOC or the Dutch East India company. The story is fascinating. It's, uh, it's got a lot of super interesting, uh, cool stuff. It also got some darker stuff. 
Um, again, we are completely neutral, not because I'm Dutch, I'm promoting the, the, the VOC or something like that. To me, this is also just a fascinating story about the history of humanity. Uh, and actually there were some key moments in the history of this company that led to financial markets being the way they are right now. So certain products, certain ways of transacting, certain uh, ways of doing business or raising capital for a business were actually pioneered uh, in this era by this company. So really super interesting to, um, to see that. And I'll get to my perspectives in a second. Um, but then we move to the future of, uh, of finance and then we arrive to at least a part of it, a potential part of it, and that is decentralized finance. And for this, you need to understand a little bit about uh, blockchain or ledger technology. And we will do so in the, in the lecture uh, or uh, maybe both lectures, but definitely the Friday lecture of the first week. Uh, and we will talk about blockchain, for example, because it's crucial to understand at least a little bit how blockchain works in order to understand what decentralized finance is. And um, that brings me already to a point where you, if you shape your view on financial markets, let me uh, see if I can do this and again, do my DJ trick. Um, it is really paramount that if you are an investor that you understand what you invest in and the better you understand what you invest in, the better your performance is going to be. So the people that understood blockchain from a technological perspective in like say 2015, 16, 17, etc they would have had the conviction to buy something for a longer time horizon than you know just like a 20 percent or 100 percent price price move for example um, if you understand what you are investing in then your conviction into something your thesis around something is completely going to change and that's why we think it's so important to understand all these components starting from uh, like a wide overview to actually taking sectors or or sub uh, components of this overview and actually looking at looking at it in depth to see what the opportunities are so if you understand for example how traditional financial markets work then if you see a potential innovation of the way certain you know uh, like the, the financial markets work today so we have stock brokers we have stock exchanges and all these people transacting etc but for example one uh, example that i can give is like the US stock exchange is not available to every person on the planet. But with if something like decentralized finance, where you change the infrastructure at which this thing, which like the transactions are operated, you could, for example, make it globally uh, accessible. If in order to get the, uh, I'm not saying that this is going to happen. This is not my view. I'm not, I don't even, I'm not invested in anything DeFi at the moment, um, but I do understand the implication. So, and that helps me to create a thesis when it comes to like, okay, this is how it works in what we call traditional finance. Um, we transact with each other in a certain way. We use these and these products, but now there is something, something of a technological development that could actually improve that. Like, what is that worth, right? Like, is that something worth betting on? Is that something worth investing on? These are uh, in. These, these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. So I, I repeat again, like the more we understand the markets that we operate and the more we understand the technology, the, 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 st the entire structure of the thing, uh, the, the, the clearer our view is just simply going to be, right? And the better our decision making is going to be because we realize like, hey, wait a minute, something is being developed there, which is going to you know, make it much more efficient. It's going to be much faster to transact with each other, or even like the, the entire brokerage firm would not be necessary if this technology really, you know, does what it promises to do. Those are just questions that we can work with. And this ultimately helps us shape uh, our view on something and it helps us create an investment thesis. Um, I think that's, uh, that's some perspective, at least for now. So that, that that's quite an important aspect that we, understand where we came from right we understand how markets developed and we try to get a view on where things are going because remember um you know investing is not about it's it's a little bit about the past it's about seeing what what in what happened in the past but it's very much about making decisions for the future right so that's um and i i think we just really need to understand where we came from so that's why we've um selected these topics so decentralized finance it's really super interesting um, some say that it could be the entire backbone of the new global financial system in you know uh, X amount of years. Who knows what that's going to be? The thing is, and this is something that I can 
uh, support is that it's a very, very interesting development. So we're going to uh, look at this also later in the program uh, extensively, really to, to get you to understand how blockchain works, how DeFi works, etc. So plenty to come. Take your time, just read through it. And again, if you have questions, come back to us in, uh, in the Discord or in the lecture. As mentioned, the advanced source, and yes, I know this is getting quite lengthy, but hopefully you find this uh, valuable. Um, you know, hopefully I'm not wasting your time with these videos. I, I don't think so. I'll, I'll give it my best. Anyway, the uh, this advanced source, so money, humanity's biggest illusion. It's really cool to understand what money actually is and how we sort of agree with each other that it has value, right? It's very odd that a uh, $100 bill or a or 100 euro note is actually worth that when the paper itself is, you know, obviously not really worth that. So it's like, how does that work? How does, how did money sort of came to be? Uh, I found this a very interesting source. One of the things um, at the end, I'll, I'll not spoil it for you. Just really don't go to the end immediately, watch the entire video. That for example, is an example like, okay, obviously the creator, you know, has a certain perspective and we do not necessarily agree with that perspective. We just keep it neutral. We just found this video both entertaining and enlightening. So um, that's why it is there. Um, okay, so to PowerPoint, uh, as I DJ my way through this again, uh, some perspectives, right? To close maybe off for this video. So to repeat, uh, we start with an overview of financial markets, the history, how they came to be, what they look like right now, and what they may potentially look like into the future. Uh, and the reason why we did this is we want to create, we help, like we want to help you think in a certain way, have like look at markets in a certain way. Uh, and of course, if you know you want to be a participant, if you want to enter this arena, this uh, global game that is being played, the game of finance, you need to understand what you're getting into. And hopefully these sources, so for this chapter, obviously there are two more chapters which will dive uh, deeper into certain aspects. Hopefully this chapter will help you shape uh, that. And as I did, like sometimes I'll just go on a rant, I'll give some perspective, something that just comes uh, from experience or, or uh, something that I've learned along the way. Uh, and we'll just, you know, uh, put that in between there and you will see me rant. I think this video is long enough for now. Let me cut it here. Um, any questions, Discord or uh, during the lectures, best of luck. Take your time really to try to understand the sources and we'll see each other in the next video.